Welcome everyone to the uh, Argyle Fumas uh, video. This time I'm going to put in uh, it so uh, I can get your information. It's from Holtz, by the way. It's a Holtz special. Argyle is a Holtz. And um, it basically says that uh, it is a budget stick. Uh, Aaron loved them. It is a Churchill Robusto or Toro, and then you got a taster pack of 15 smokes for 30. So it says here it's medium. It's a Dominican Republic and it's a Sumatran wrapper. So uh, it says it's uh, made by a Premier Boutique Cigar Factory using rich selection of premium Dominican sandwich tobaccos. Okay, so. It is one of those people that basically accompanies, I like Holtz, by the way, Aaron loved Holtz, and, uh, you know, so, um, I was just talking to Sarah Eileen, who's helping with the, um, with the, uh, memorial service, which, uh, I did get a newspaper. I went out today, and I ran into a lady, and the lady asked me something about the newspaper. And I said, yes, I'm looking for the paper. I'm also looking for the ads because, as you know, I shop with coupons. And I always look for a deal. And steak's on sale yet again, so I'm hoping to get some more steak. So, it says here. They got an obit that's pretty good. They got an anniversary. But this one lady's obit is, like, long. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, it must have cost them a couple hundred dollars for it. Mine was basic, but it says here, funeral service. Celebration of life service for Aaron Whitehouse, who passed away August 23rd, 2016, will be held October 1st, 2016, at 3 p.m. at the former Quincy Community Center, now known as the Quincy Valley Business and Conference Center. Friends and family are invited. To the, the memorial service will be posted on YouTube as well. So, his dad gets his wish. It goes on YouTube. So, technically, it seems really, uh, you know, really cool. So, and with that said, you know what the Fuma says. You understand this is a uh, Toro, I believe. Uh, one of the favorite things about Aaron is, is Aaron loved his uh, Toros and his uh, Torpedo or Pyramide shakes. Just to share that with you all. So, talk to Poppy tonight. All is good. He's as busy as busy can be. But I talked to him about the latest, what's going on, how I handle things today for some more of Aaron's affairs. I'm doing most everything. It's it's my task. So I'm picking up light hints of cedar, oak, and a little bit of pine trees. So, woodsy, woodsy. Let's do the dry taste. Hmm. I get a feeling this cigar that I'm reviewing, uh, uh, because this is a Fumas, that um, might need it a little more opening up. So, let's kick the tires and light the fire, shall we? So, I find everything to be very good and very um, desirable. So, when it comes to cigars right now, so, um, sometimes I get lazy and it's like, you know, Ernie's telling, you know, I'm a lady, so I gotta do more than be lazy. So, anyways, it's coming up close to Friday where I get my mail, my new keys for my apartment, and then I get to start packing up on Monday to leave. By the way, oh, the draw fixed itself. Don't need to fix it now. So, this has got hints of woodsy note. As you know, these come in bundles, so they don't come in fancy boxes, but Aaron loved them as uh, humidor stretchers or tupidor stretchers. So, 
Um, so anyways, I got to tell you a quick story before I log off. This is just basic woodsy. It's got a little light hair on the beginning. Um, my turkey tenderloin that I was going to have for supper tonight was still frozen after four hours. Now, I like people telling me to go nuke it in the microwave because it starts to taste rubbery. So I decided to make me a box of mac and cheese. And let me tell you, it's pretty good. So I'm good. I gave a little bit of moppy. Uh, Aaron and I are always uh, protective of Moppy, and we wanted to make sure Moppy did not have uh, mac and cheese around his ears, because you know how floppy Moppy is. So, um, anyways, um, with that said, please, uh, please uh, stay tuned for the uh, halfway point of this Argyle Fumas by Holtz. Welcome back to the Argyle Fumas uh, halfway point. It's been burning on a razor. I had to check on my lighters just to make sure they were filled with fluid. Turns out I only have, yeah, I had to refill two of them, so. I'm going to share with you all um, something I might do one more review tonight. The Carino, because that's all I have available before I get into the other ones. Now, tomorrow I will try to review uh, squat short nubs and enjoy myself while I do some spreadsheets and get those out of the way. Because Friday morning, as you all know, I have to be up early to go to get my new keys to my apartment. And one there, I want to inquire about barbecues and my dish TV. So, um, but enough about this. So, flavors are amazing. It's changed over to a, a dry dirt earth type thing, an earth flavor. Light Lajero, still there. For budget stick, it's pretty good. I mean, I have extras of these in my, uh, in my, uh, Tupperware, so. I find this to be very good, you know, and I'm enjoying it, so. Um, there's not much flavor complexity in this, like, the Moon Deal, but Aaron picked up 12 to 16 flavors in the Moon Deal. I'm only picking up, like, two to three in this cigar. So, with that said, everyone, stay tuned to the final third of this Holtz Argyle Fumas. Welcome back to the final third of the Argyle Fumas. Anyways, what I wanted to say is it is a good, affordable stick, and I find it to be awesome. And the flavors have light pepper, light lajero, little cedar tastes. It's something I could say I could be smoking uh, every day in uh, my life. So, anyways, with that said, uh, it is a medium body, medium strength cigar. And uh, I just wanted to say, um, that, uh, do I highly recommend this? Yes. Is it worth the money? Yes. I've had Argyle Fumas's in the Holtz Buzzard Banquet series, and I find it to be really, really tasty. So, with that said, um, I highly recommend it. So, please add and subscribe. Please post comments. Please leave feedback, suggestions, smoke this or you have it. Let us know. Just keep it nice is all we ask. And enjoy every puff.